previous episode, we discussed how Tesla discovered that high voltage DC pulses could trigger a strange shock wave that could penetrate nearly all shielding layers. Tesla described it as a sonic wave of electrified air, which was clearly a metaphor. While sound waves are conducted through air, the shock wave Tesla encountered obviously didn't travel through air. He conducted another experiment that further confirmed this. A wire immersed in oil would emit a strange gas stream when suddenly electrified, continuously jetting from the wire's surface. The flow was so intense it created a whirlpool about two inches deep in the oil. Clearly, the wire itself couldn't contain that much air. So Tesla concluded that there must be a medium other than air. Moreover, in a true Tesla coil, this electrical pulse would create a thin layer of luminous gas flowing over the copper coil's surface, not through it. Tesla referred to this phenomenon as the skin effect, which, which resembled behaviors seen in uneven electrical currents. Through continued experimentation, Tesla found that this mysterious gas-like discharge appeared to be composed of several simultaneously flowing substances. He began to understand why his high-frequency AC machines had never produced such effects. Only sudden, powerful DC pulses could unlock this unexpected gaseous component. The key was the pulse, specifically a unidirectional pulse, which was the only way to unleash these phenomena. High-frequency AC machines, with their sinusoidal voltages constantly reversing due to rotating brushes, could never trigger any of these anomalous effects. This is why Tesla regarded his high-frequency AC experiments as failures. Tesla discovered this effect in 1889, and after extensive experimentation, he delivered a lecture titled The Dissipation of Electricity, just before Christmas in 1892. This lecture marked Tesla's complete shift from high-frequency AC to research in high-frequency DC pulses. During this period, he referred to these strange phenomena as radiant electricity. Incidentally, the term radiant electricity frequently appears in modern explanations of various electromagnetic pulse-based free energy devices, all of which trace back to Tesla's original work. So what exactly was this mysterious gas that wasn't air? Tesla believed it was none other than ether. In the Victorian era, scientists widely believed that the universe was permeated by an ultrafine gas they called, they called ether. Light was thought to propagate through space within this medium. In fact, space was not seen as a pure vacuum. Ether was thought to fill that void. Strictly speaking, the term fill may be misleading, as space isn't truly empty. Its very concept is defined by its medium. In that sense, ether is space itself. The first scientist to systematically explore the concept of ether was Dmitri Mendeleev, the father of the periodic table. In 1904, he published a pamphlet titled A Chemical Concept of the Ether, in which he proposed that ether was an interstellar atmosphere composed of elements far lighter than hydrogen, possibly as light as 100 millionth of hydrogen's mass. Mendeleev believed these gases were inert, passing through all matter without reacting with it. Although these pre-hydrogen elements were unknown, Mendeleev included them in his periodic table, just as he had predicted other elements before their discovery in 1869. Tesla strongly supported Mendeleev's theory. The shock waves he observed were gaseous pulses with electrical properties behaving like explosions, but clearly not composed of any known atmospheric gas. These pulses moved along the surface of his coils at speeds faster than light. Tesla concluded that the medium was not air, but ether. He repeatedly emphasized that his transformers were affecting powerful flows within the ether. As mentioned earlier, Tesla experimented with different pulse durations. This work required extreme caution, as he knew the risks could be fatal. Through careful study, Tesla discovered that different pulse durations produced distinct, sometimes bizarre effects. Pulses longer than 100 microseconds created painful mechanical pressure. Objects vibrated and even moved, and fine wires exploded into vapor. But when pulse durations were under 100 microseconds, these effects vanished, and human subjects felt no discomfort. Interestingly, Tesla's famed wireless energy transmission system was designed around sub-100 microsecond pulses, capable of penetrating materials without harm and ideally suited for urban power distribution. Tesla also found that he could shape the conductor carrying the ether shockwave to direct the radiation. The best radiative symmetry occurred with semicircular wires arranged in circular patterns. 
If radiation could be focused in a specific direction, then targeted wireless energy transmission became feasible. Even more astonishing were the effects of shorter pulses. At 1.0 microsecond, Tesla felt a strong physiological heat. As the duration decreased, radiant ether pulses emitted brilliant white light that illuminated entire rooms. With even shorter pulses, the room would cool, producing a cold breeze accompanied by feelings of joy and enhanced awareness. The radiation colors also varied by pulse duration, each component of ether being stimulated to emit different hues, such as crimson, sky blue, pink, and bright white, colors beyond typical atmospheric spectrums. Tesla believed that ether energy, though electrically similar, represented a wholly different force. It aligned more with the dreams and aspirations of conscious beings. He suspected a direct link between ether energy and human consciousness. By exposing himself to the shortest ether pulses, Tesla noticed an enhanced state of awareness. The longer the exposure, the stronger the effect. Understanding ether is crucial to grasping Tesla's technology. The overwhelming evidence suggests that Tesla was the first to discover the ether gases Mendeleev theorized. Tesla proposed that ether flows were being pulled through his transformer under higher natural pressures and accelerated through rapid discharges. Conventional electrical theory couldn't explain his devices. Therefore, Tesla's work must be understood as ether technology, not electrical technology. In another mind-bending experiment, uh, Tesla described how ultra-fast pulse sequences generated a cool, misty white stream of light that extended into space. If these were electrical in nature, they would require voltages of several million volts to produce such effects. Yet they felt cool to the touch and were harmless to humans, completely contradicting known electrical properties. To truly understand Tesla's work, one must abandon the idea of electrons as the primary current carriers in his radiant energy designs. Conventional electron flow couldn't move fast enough. In real Tesla coils, electrons were immobilized within the metal lattice, while radiant pulses traveled over the coil surfaces. These were ether pulses, not electric pulses. To prove this, Tesla performed a shocking experiment. He connected a thick U-shaped copper bus bar directly to the primary coil and bridged incandescent bulbs across its arms. In theory, this short-circuited the bulbs. Any normal electric current would bypass them entirely. Yet the generator functioned perfectly and the bulbs lit up with bright cold white light. This proved that the energy lighting the bulbs wasn't from electron flow, but from separated ether streams. Tesla claimed that the radiant electricity separated electrons from the neutral ether flow. Electrons traveled through the copper bar, while the purified ether lit the bulbs. Tesla's radiant energy experiments aimed to extract pure ether by removing electrons. He believed current was a mixed flow of ether and electrons, and that electrons were a degraded, polluted form of ether. This is why Tesla transformers are not electromagnetic devices. They generate pure voltage through radiant shock waves without producing current. Today's so-called Tesla coils are not true Tesla transformers. They use resonant LC circuits to induce current in a secondary coil, producing high voltage but negligible current, more for show than practical use. This is the same principle behind wireless phone charging. Trendy, but not revolutionary. True Tesla transformers are pulse devices that separate electrons from ether, using high-voltage, high-frequency DC pulses, thereby extracting pure ether streams. At the end of this episode, let's review the key secrets behind real Tesla coils. 1. Disruptive Discharge Tesla's method began with explosive, time-controlled discharges. To achieve this, he used magnetic quenching spark gaps, a heavy-duty discharge devices still used in military power systems. These spark gaps included polished steel spheres or bimetal horns made of carbon and copper designed to maintain rectification and prevent backflow. Number two, amplifying ether flow. It wasn't enough to extract ether. Tesla discovered that ether shockwaves amplified automatically when interacting with segmented structures. Spirals, for example, allowed the shockwave to flash along the coil surface, increasing voltage without current. He even switched from cylindrical coils to cone or flat spiral shapes to better concentrate ether flow. 3. Mass resonance. Tesla found that the best results occurred when the mass of the primary coil equaled that of the secondary coil. This balance, unexplained by electrical theory, suggested the energy involved wasn't electrical. 4. 
Earth grounding, connecting Tesla coils to the Earth significantly enhanced ether energy. Five, pulse timing. Most importantly, pulse duration was the key to everything. Tesla once said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. It's now clear that he was referring to ether energy, pulse timing, intensity, and resonance with matter. Tesla's theories were not about electricity, but about ether. With rare insight, he touched the very essence of our physical universe and unintentionally entered the realm of consciousness. The secrets of ether have only just begun to be revealed. In the next episode, we'll continue uncovering the mysteries of ether from Tesla's perspective. Stay tuned.